Hello again guys and this is another tutorial here in motion using our 3D cube. So it's carrying on from um, a previous series of tutorials I did which showed you how to animate a cube. Uh, well build a cube, animate it and uh, create a little, a little title um, header out of it. I've actually developed that project a little bit further and you'll see that this is kind of what it looks like now. So um, I've made a little social media type of um, 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 title box which, which you can display at the bottom of your um, projects or videos in, in Final Cut Pro. Um, so if you want to learn the, the basics of how I made this then you can go through those uh, older tutorials. All I want to show you here is, um, well first of all if you go over to my blog on um, finalcutprotutorials.wordpress.com you can actually download the motion um, um, project file and template for this. You can import it into Motion yourself and uh, you'll be able to edit it yourself with, without having to build it. Um, and I'm just going to show you here now qu very quickly how you can customize this to your own needs. So um, when you download the, um, the template from my blog, uh, included inside there I've included already made is uh, three different social media um, icons. So I've got Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus there. Uh, if you want to make more of your own, then uh, go ahead and you can just drag and import them into the project. So, so uh, they would just here, you just drag them in. Um, what you have to do though is make sure that it's the correct size. So our cube, or our rectangles, uh, minus 127 to 127, which if you add those together, um, 127 and 127, so we got 254. So all of these um, icons that you use must be sized correctly, so they're 254 pixels square. So if you want to make your own, go ahead, you can make any customized graphic you like, it doesn't have to be a social media icon, but just make sure it's 254 pixels square, and I would also advise you to add on a, um, a stroked edge to it, just a thin border so, so that you can identify those edges. And then all you will have to do is just drag it onto, these are our cloned um, layers here, so the front um, back top sides of the cube you just drag that onto there so here um, if we want to change this to a Google Plus we just drag our Google Plus um, icon over those so of course actually you could also make a cube where you've got different things on different sides so you could have Facebook on one side Google on the other so it could be um, a Rubik's Cube of social media if you like um, so once I've done that um, that's looking good, but you probably are going to want to change the color of this bar also to be um, matching. We don't, we don't want it to be in blue. In Facebook, blue wants it in red. So that's pretty straightforward to do as well. We'll um, select our title bar group, go to the rectangle, and then over in our properties, uh, shape, style, um, our fill is a gradient style. So we're just going to edit that gradient now. We'll select this. We'll get our eyedropper, and I'll choose the the lighter red off of our Google Plus logo. Go to the other side. I'm going to choose our eyedropper again, and I'll choose the darker side of the Google Plus. And there we go. That's it. Done. Very very quick and easy to edit and customize to however you like. And there it is. So go over to my blog, um, you can download the template there, it's completely free. All I ask is that you um, like the uh, YouTube video, that you follow me um, on my blog, on my YouTube channel, tell any of your friends who are into video editing as well, um, and spread the word. So feel free to use this in your own projects, however you like. I'll just give you an example of what it actually looks like when used in Final Cut Pro. Um, I'll just save this again here in motion and here in Final Cut, Cut, Cut Pro I've got my title effects and there's my social media cube and there it is so with the edits we just made so I'll remove that one and uh, so I'll just drag this in wait for it to render out and there we have it So of course we can adjust the position of this here 
we can position it how we like within our image and of course we can also edit as well the text uh, now this is Google Plus not Facebook so um, we'll put follow us on Google Plus we'll just adjust our baseline a little bit of the text just to center it up and there we go so I'm happy with that so that's uh, very very quickly how you can uh, utilize the social media um, title bar or like I say you can make it customized however you like it doesn't have to be social media if you're a graphic artist you can do your own logo put it on there and uh, how you can then use it in Final Cut Pro as a title bar um, so thanks very much for tuning in and I'll see you in next tutorial